Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Always, and welcome back to Captive Minecraft. In the last episode, we got some more achievements. We took a pig off of a cliff, and we went into the nether. We found some blazes, actually two blaze spawners. And finally, after quite a bit of time, we got a blaze rod. Now, if you don't remember the whole gimmick of this series, we are in a world border that only expands when we get achievements. And we're kind of at the point now that we don't have too many achievements left to get that's available to us. Um, there's a few important things that we're missing uh, <laughs> that is making things a little bit difficult. So the only achievements we can currently get is Sniper Duel, which um, I'm pretty sure... Let's go up a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is a couple of different places this could actually uh, be accessible at. Uh, let's see, there is a quartz block right there uh, that I believe is going to be that or uh, there is another achievement that we can't get uh, normally because we're in a very small confined space. Uh, that might also be the one that uh, gives us that achievement. But yeah, there is, uh, there is a quartz block there and then there's another one somewhere. One of those two is going to spawn in a skeleton somewhere into the map, and that is going to be how we get that achievement. Um, oh yeah, there's another one right there. So that one might be it, or else that one, which we're actually pretty close to that. So uh, that might be the Sniper Duel one. Um, anyways, back to the achievements. So Sniper Duel, uh, we need to eat a Notch Apple. We need to travel a thousand kilometers on minecart which that one is changed it doesn't have to be in one direction it can be um in a loop uh or at least i believe it can be um we need to throw diamonds at another player uh that one's a little bit tricky but not actually that difficult um, we just gotta find more diamonds we need to get an enchanter uh enchantment table so for that we're gonna need reeds that's the big thing and we need to go to the end now I went down to the end portal, and there's a very interesting uh, thing about that. Uh, we can't go to the end, not anytime soon, uh, because there's another couple of blocks before we can actually get to the portal. So yeah, uh, we're gonna have to find some more achievements to get. Um, so that means we need, to, we need to explore one of two areas, or I guess three areas. There is a slime down here. Um, that is not good. Um, it's not bad either, but that is a big slime. Let's just get rid of these guys. Um, good experience. That was painful. <laughs> that was a nice little knockback. Uh, slime balls are not particularly useful to us, uh, but hey, whatever. We got 12 of them. So, yeah, the end portal is right here. Uh, we broke the spawner for the silverfish. There is one, two, three blocks away uh, before we can actually even open the portal. So, and, and I counted there's seven achievements we can currently get. Um, if we unlock the enchanting table. So we've got to be able to find some sugar cane uh, somewhere. And that's going to that's gonna be the key. Because uh, we can interact. Um, so that's one, two, three achievements. We can interact with those three. Uh, but there's still two, two more portal frame things that are empty. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then probably six before we can even get into the end. Um, but we should have enchanting by then. Um, we'll have to find more diamonds. I don't know if there is more diamonds, more diamonds available to us yet or not. I hear that. There is darkness. There's darkness over here. Um, so this is something that I routinely do. <laughs> I, that is more than one Enderman, too. Um, okay. This is getting interesting. Is there a... Oh, boy. 
Wait, is that my uh, spotting area? Hold up. Uh, that might be where I have, yeah, that's where I have darkness, uh, available to us. So, let's just expand that a little bit. And we're gonna break this block. Um, my sword is about to break, though, which is not good. Hey, we got a record. <laughs> um, all right, Enderman. Hopefully they're not smart enough to try to teleport. Okay. Um, I've been keeping this area very... Oh, uh, there's a... There's another. Hey, come here. Thank you. Um, I wanted to make another sword. And that is really loud. Uh, music and sounds. Let's turn that down a little bit. Okay. I can't hear myself think. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Um, I, I've left that dark area, uh, there for quite a while now. Um, and occasionally I check it, but Enderman is really nice to find because we need Ender Pearls, uh, to make the, uh, Eyes of Ender. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a quote-unquote easy way to get Eyes of Ender um, in this map. Um, not necessarily like, uh, how do I want to say it? Not necessarily like a, uh, it's just going to give us Eyes of Enders, but there's probably an Enderman spawner somewhere. Uh, but let's go ahead. I've been organizing blocks a little bit. Uh, we need to make a new sword and retire, retire our old one because that one is almost broken. We got a music disc, 13. Not my favorite, uh, but yeah. Uh, let's just get into an achievement right away. We need to make a brewing stand, and I figured this was the case. Um, making a brewing stand is not actually enough. Uh, we need some glass, and we need to make some sort of potion. Oh, I have a water bottle. We don't need to do that. Um, I have a single water bottle. This is good enough. Uh, but we can go ahead and get some more water. And we can make a poison potion. Um, that is something that is pretty easy to do. Right. We need another blaze rod. Ugh. That took forever, for the record. Um, do we have enough? I mean, we do have enough iron. How much iron is it? It's three blocks, that's 27, plus a little bit. Let's just go ahead and cook up some iron ore. Uh, and in fact, I'm gonna take this out and throw in some coal. We can get more coal pretty easily. We can get charcoal very easily. Uh, and I guess for the time being, let's try to get up to the nether island. Um, so we didn't do this last time. Uh, I want to get an anvil so that we can put looting on our sword. Uh, that is kind of the important thing at this point, but we need to get some diamonds and... Yeah, I don't know where to find some diamonds. Uh, I brought the book. I don't want to climb back down. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get up here, and there's going to be gas that spawn. We have a bow and arrow now, so that is something. Um, we can potentially get rid of the gas, but we need to find and break the gas spawner that's up here. Um, I don't know where it's at, but we definitely need to break it. And... If worst, worst comes to worst, we can fall into our water pond down there. Um, that's why it's there. And I messed something up here, didn't I? All right, let's put a block there. Actually, let's put a backstop to this. And there 
That's fine. Ow. That's less fine. Oh, uh, I almost, I almost went back to the, uh, uh, okay. So I debated in my head in that little fall. Uh, do I go back? Do I, do I, do I go back to try to hit the ladder? Um, and I decided at the last minute not to. That was close. Uh, so I don't know how to deal with this. This is really annoying to deal with. Um, probably one of the easiest ways is to make an actual, like, enclosed ladder. If the gas can't see you, the gas can't shoot at you, and the gas can't sh hit you off of, uh, the, the ladder. But that's a lot more blocks than I'd necessarily want to use. Um, but at the same time, might be better. Uh, so... <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Losing my voice, apparently. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. So there is a cool trick we can do to at least get things started. And the other thing is, going upwards like this is so disorienting. Um, so I think we're okay here. Um, so we can put a... We cannot put, put a torch there. I forgot. Um, so this is... gonna be somewhat tricky nope all right well just get up here and all right that's fine um okay So let's get some blocks on either side and uh, this is not too terrible actually. So let's just get up here. And maybe you don't actually with where the gas was spawning, um, we might have blocked where it can actually spawn at, and thus it might not be able to spawn anymore. I hear pigmen, that's okay. Uh, let's grab more blocks. Um, let's also eat before we go any, uh, go out again. Okay, so this was not terrible. Um, but there is a spawner up here, and I don't know what for. Um, there's also a chest, which is good. I mean, obviously there is... The cave spider spawner. Uh, actually, we're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep that. Um, but that is not the gas spawner. Um, cave spider. Do they die in one hit? Spawn villager and redstone. Okay, we're in business now. Also gave us a carrot, which is nice. And the string is actually really important. Um, string enables us to do a couple of things. So I don't know quite yet where. Uh, let's let's light this up just a little bit. I don't know where the uh, the gas spawner is. It's probably in the island a little bit more, but uh, you know what? Let's get another. Let's get another bit of string, um, because that's what we want from the spiders. We want the string. Uh, string enables us to not only make bows, and we could also, you know, make 
the wonderful um, fishing rod that is probably not needed anymore. Um, we do have a lot of cows. I'm going to have to kill a lot of the cows here soon so that we can get some leather and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but the redstone is super important um, because the redstone enables us to make powered rails um, and is also just really good. Uh, I was trying to shift click that stuff up there and it doesn't work in this version. We also got a villager. Villagers offer trades. And I don't know which version this is to know what um, kind of trades we're going to get, but we also got a fire charge. That's interesting. Uh, so let's get our uh, powered rail. So I believe it is redstone with a stick in the middle. And there is some powered rails. And then this is the fun part where I get to do editing and um, basically I'm going to just set up, uh, let's do this. Um, so we're going to, we're going to get an achievement right here. Uh, and then uh, I'm also going to, get uh so we do that we put nope not there uh actually we could do a little bit more speed go faster um so i'm going to get the achievement here and this is going to take some time so i'm going to actually uh edit this out but uh, then we're going to make the, uh, what is it, the, the anvil, we're going to put looting on our sword, we're going to get a blaze rod, and we're going to uh, make a potion. So I will be back once this has given us an achievement. There we go. Um, so there is the on a rail achievement. But, um, yeah, so I believe how that works, um, because... Normally, Minecraft will track your distance uh, traveled by minecart with um, the internal, like, basically how many tracks you go at once in one direction. Probably some positioning things or whatever. Um, the way this map does it, because we don't have the ability to go a thousand blocks in a direction, is probably by this distance by minecart. Um, once it hit one kilometer, it triggered. So um, there is that taken care of. Uh, and I always struggle breaking boats and <laughs> minecarts and especially armor stands. Um, but there is that done. So another advancement, which means we have extended the world border just a little bit. And let's go ahead and put this stuff away. We don't need it anymore. And we have a bunch of iron now. We can make an anvil. And actually, uh, we're going to put the anvil up here. And I might build this area out a little bit um, between episodes and whoop, 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 uh, and use it for the villager. See what the villager gives us, um, what we can get from the villager. But we want to put looting on our sword. That is going to make it a lot better. Uh, and I think... I think we're good to head back to the nether and go explore. So we got an, a, basically another half block. Um, we are two achievements from this guy, uh, which is really nice. But uh, we could do a couple other things. Um, we're two achievements from this guy. We could see what's in it. I'm going to not. Um, I don't think I did. I don't remember if I did. So uh, that is... A thing um, I do want to see real quick how close are we to that um, it looks like two achievements as well so we are we are getting there um, we just need to do a little bit more uh, now one thing to note is 
Uh, because of that achievement, we have actually unlocked one thing that is kind of important. Um, and it should be working now. So there's a lot of things in there, uh, including a spider, it sounds like. But is it... I can never remember where it's at. Oh, it's right here. So we now have... Skeletons. Um, where did that skeleton come from, though? Are they spawning in the wall? Oh, there's... There's an opening there. Alright, so we're going to want to light this up. Um, because of the spawner. So, uh, we're going to... Hmm, how do we want to do this? Oh, hey, we can open this chest now. Um, legitimately, there is a mushroom and another music disc. We're going to take that, and I'm going to just do one of these to lock that off just in case. Um, nothing should spawn there, but uh, we do have a skeleton farm, which is really good. Uh, two major things from skeletons. Obviously, bones are really useful for growing crops and trees and all that kind of stuff if we need emergency uh, supplies or whatnot. But arrows are really nice. Um, flint is technically in limited supply, so having extra of that is good. Uh, we also got a mushroom, which is interesting. Uh, it's not a brown mushroom, so it's not super useful, but who knows? Okay, let's head to the nether. And I hate this. Um, we do have full armor still. Yes, okay, our armor is looking pretty good. Um, I kind of hate this, but <laughs> we need to go kill some blazes. Um, okay. I don't know if that was just a visual bug, but my armor disappeared. Uh, I believe there was an issue originally. God, there are so many pigmen here. Uh, I believe there was an issue originally in the, uh, the world border. I don't know if it was this version or not, but the world border was not correct in how it was um how the nether was uh if that's still the case i don't know but we have a couple blaze spawners here and a pigman that ow is in pain all right we're gonna just come over here uh this is not safe at all but we just need that. We got a blaze rod. That's all we need right now. Um, we got two, actually. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> that magma cube just jumped, jumped off. Uh, so there is probably more things open here. We'll explore the nether probably more next time. We'll see what all advancements we need to get, um, what we are missing, so to speak. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Um, for now, it must be a, I don't know if that's a visual bug or not, but there is an issue with going through the nether. Uh, so we are going to want to make a potion. Now, we don't have the quote-unquote required item of nether wart. We don't have nether wart. So, I guess we could just, you know, do this. And this is still brewing a potion. Um, is there anything better that we could do? I mean, I can get spider eyes. We do have a spider farm now. Uh, there is a cave spider. It's awful because it's cave spiders. But, I mean, we can go get as many cave spiders as we want. And those made some mundane potions. Um, but that's a, that's an advancement, uh, so, or achievement, they're not advancements yet. Um, so, at this point, we need to eat a notch apple, uh, we would need a little bit more gold than what I actually have, um, because a notch apple is eight gold blocks, which is 72 gold, and we have less than 50. Uh, so that's not gonna happen. 
uh, but there is a couple things that we could probably do, and one thing that I am going to actually try to figure out is, okay, we need to go just a little further up. Right here should be good. Um, we are going to put another level right here. Uh, because this is how we can get over there. Um, and so I'm going to build over there. Uh, and let's just double check. Let's see if there's anything else up here. Um, maybe the villager is something that we need to do with. Uh, but we need to find diamonds. So I'll probably head down into the, the uh, bottom of the world. See if there's any more diamonds I can find. Um... Yeah, you know, we have blocks. We do have extra blocks. Let's go ahead and just make this a little bit safer. As I struggle to climb the hill. Alright, let's... See if there's anything secretive around here. No. Just that block, which we can't quite get to yet. Um, I can see that... Okay, don't see anything here. All right, so that tells me uh, the next achievements that we're going to be getting is probably, yeah, that is one block away. We can almost get to there. Uh, so I will, I will pillar over there. I will make a little bit of a bridge. And next time, um, we'll try to get some more advancements, but uh, otherwise we are going to head to the nether. And we're going to finish exploring that uh, best we can. I'll probably have to make more ladders. But um, there is stuff down below. As well as... Um, we can still go further up in the nether. So either way. There's more slimes. Should probably light this up just a little bit. Uh, looting on my sword gives us lots of slime balls which are not terribly useful so yeah that is going to be it for today's episode i'm going to see if i can't find uh any amount of diamonds and we will go from there next time so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys in the next one bye